Hey guys, I am sure you are all wondering what we are having and yes, we do know and I will share that in this video and we are so excited, we are so blessed and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. But first, I just wanted to kind of share what happened last weekend, last Sunday and what led us into finding out what we were having or how we found out. So last Sunday, Ben and I went to his flag football game as we do every Sunday. And one of the scariest things I've ever went through in my life, um, witnessed, happened. And Ben was seriously injured at the football game last Sunday. He and another player were going up for the same ball. And as they went up in the air, they came down and the guy landed right on Ben's neck and on his face, his head. And so Ben was slammed to the, to the ground and he didn't get up immediately. So I ran out there and I was like, are you okay? And immediately after I asked that question, he had a seizure. He's He has never had a seizure before. This was his first seizure. And so, of course, you can imagine I was terrified witnessing that. And um, thank God one of his teammates is a medic and he knew exactly what to do. He knew to like give him space and let him have the seizure. Like you're not supposed to hold or confine somebody, you know, while they're having the seizure. And so, he, after the seizure, Ben was unconscious. He stopped breathing for 20 to 30 seconds. His face went pale. His lips were purple. I mean, I honestly thought I was going to lose him. And I thought, like, this is it. God's taking him from me right now. I don't know why, but this is it. And I tried staying so calm for him and I tried talking to him like, it's okay, Ben, I'm right here. I'm by your side. If you can hear me, I'm right here. It's going to be okay. And he was just out of it for like, I'd say like 10 minutes. He just was unconscious. He couldn't hear anybody. He couldn't like talk back to us. We were like, if you can hear us, squeeze our hand. We're here. Squeeze our hand. And he just wouldn't squeeze our hand. Every time I said Ben, he would look at me but then his eyes would roll back in his head. And so the medics got there within like 10 minutes. And by the time they got there, he was conscious again. He was alert. He, they asked him like five questions, like, you know, who's the current president? What city are you in? What sport were you just playing? And he answered all of those questions correctly. And they were really concerned at first. So they actually called a helicopter and he was airlifted to a hospital that's downtown. And I guess they wanted to bring him to this hospital that's downtown. It was like 45 minutes away because um, they have a neurologist there. So in case there was something wrong with his brain, the neurologist would be able to perform immediate surgery on him. So I'm very happy to say that Ben is okay. He's healthy, he's fine. And I am just so thankful for that because I honestly did not know what was going to happen. And it was just honestly the scariest thing ever. And he agrees. I mean, it was so scary for him. And, you know, it's just confusing why it happened. But we're just happy and thankful that he's still with us. And the doctor said he'll be fine. They did a bunch of scans on him. They all came back negative. They say that the seizure was caused because of the impact of the hit. It wasn't caused because of a random, you know, walking down the road and you have a seizure, you're prone to more likely get another seizure and you'll have to take medicine if it was like a random seizure. Well, this was caused because of the impact. So they don't suspect that he'll have any more. They did do a test and they did show that he does have blood in his brain, which that can take like a week or two and it'll naturally release itself from the brain. But 
and they said because he's healthy and he's young he'll be fine it's okay to I mean it's not good to have blood in your brain but it's okay it'll naturally drain itself so they were just concerned that he might have an aneurysm in his brain which an aneurysm you don't want to have in your brain because that could explode at some point which you know could lead to death so they did a thorough inspection on all the tests that they did to make sure that he does not have an aneurysm and he does not thankfully so he's just to take it easy for the next couple of weeks and he is doing much better he just gets dizzy every once in a while he gets headaches but he's fine and we're just so thankful for that so we had a really crazy week <laughs> and anyway Monday was our was still our appointment to find out the you know to have the gender scan and I did not want to go because we I stayed at the hospital with him Sunday night and Monday night we weren't released until Tuesday in the afternoon when the doctors felt he was okay to leave and so Monday morning we got up and we found out he wasn't going to be released because of the blood in the head and they wanted to monitor him for the next night and I was like I don't want to go to the test like I don't you know I don't care right now what we're having the baby's fine the baby's healthy we can wait to find out what we're having until after all of this is done and he was just like no please Regina please just go to the appointment and he really really wanted me to go to the appointment I figured because maybe it would like lift his spirits to find out what we were having so I was like well if I go I'm not gonna I'm gonna tell the ultrasound tech do not tell me what we're having because I didn't even want to be there. I wanted him to be with me. So I ended up going and I told the tech, don't tell me, I do not want to know. And she's like, okay, I'll just take a picture of it and then I'll put, it's a boy or it's a girl. So um, she took the picture and I rushed back to the hospital and we opened up the picture together. Okay, and? Are you guys ready? We are having a little girl. I was wrong. I'm not having a boy. I'm having a girl. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We are so excited we're having a girl. I'm just like, I feel like we were so shocked at first. We open up the picture because it was like a roll of like, you know, the ultrasound pictures you get. And at the very top was the one of, you know, the girl parts. And it said, it's a girl. And we read it and I'm thinking, you know, this is not going to be a big surprise. It's a boy. I know it is. So we open it up and at the top it says, it's a girl. And I'm like, I screamed. I was like, it's a girl? No way! It's a girl! I was so excited and Ben was like, what? It's a girl? Oh my gosh! Like, we were both just so excited and I mean, we definitely had to change our mindset because for the longest, you know, I convinced him it was a boy and I convinced myself it was a boy. So we were only imagining a little boy in our life and boy clothes and sports and all these different boy things and now we're thinking pink stuff and girly stuff and the whole girly thing. So we went out and got some stuff and <laughs> we're the girl and we're so excited. I just still, every day I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to have a daughter. I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. So um, then once he was released from the hospital Tuesday afternoon, we made an appointment to get another ultrasound for the gender scan so that way it's like because i didn't even watch the first ultrasound on monday like i just didn't even want to be there my focus was i knew the baby was fine so i wasn't worried about the baby i wanted to just be with him i didn't want to leave his side so i didn't even look at the ultrasound i mean i looked for a second of course how can you not look at your baby but i just my mind was elsewhere and so wednesday we went back in and we got another ultrasound and we were able to confirm together, yes, it's a girl. We were able to ask questions and really just be there and look at it. So that was really exciting. So, all right, guys, we'll end it there. This was just my gender reveal. I'll do an 18-week update here soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.